Greetings from outside the Halley softball field here on the Northwest Nazarene University campus. I'm Mike Stetson and I want to welcome you to another edition of the Crusader Coaches Corner Show. A few cranky computers kept us from airing the show yesterday, but we're back at it today and a big day here on the campus as classes have begun for the Crusaders. Spring not quite yet has sprung, but uh, the spring sports are underway. Baseball and softball getting their first workouts in. The track team in mid-season form and the basketballers both on the court this weekend. Women will be at home while the men will be on the road. And today on the show, we're joined by one of the men's team players, Joel DeVoste, who will talk about his uh, unique journey to NNU, back to Texas, and then back here to NNU as he's helping lead the Crusaders this season. I want to thank you, and now it's time for the Coach's Corner Show. Welcome to this week's uh, Coaches Show. Today we're joined by senior post for the men's basketball team, Joel DeVaste. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, thank you. I uh, want to talk about, uh, obviously, the big win. Uh, start off Thursday night. Uh, you guys uh, needed a win, came out, played incredibly well, and uh, got the W. How nice was that to, to score the win? Uh, it was a really good win for us, uh, finally, to get the conference started. Uh, they were 3-1 and one, and to give them uh, one in the loss column was good. And so I think after the win we're, we should pick it up and really see the season turn around after that. So You had a good game, D21 had a good game, Nick had a good game. So many different weapons on this team. How much is that helping this team to be successful? Uh, well, everybody that we have on the team is uh, like always contributing in some type of way, and so that's really different and a luxury to have. Um, not all teams have somebody to step up each each night or each every different night. If that makes sense. You've been so consistent every night. Uh, what's going right for you this season, uh, down low and inside? Because it seems like every night you're putting up uh, double digit points and around that seven eight. Nine rebound mark. Uh, well, just the unselfish unselfishness with my teammates and the confidence they have in me uh, to actually, you know, get the job done and uh, trust that you know if the double teams come out, kick it out, and uh, if it's just a one on one, I'll be able to get my shots and you know just distribute the ball around the paint and around the perimeter is also helping me out as well. And people, uh, people know that uh, you were here a couple years ago had a season uh, with Coach Daniels, took a year off. Uh, first off, talk about uh, what was it like to, to leave and take that year off for you? Uh, well, it was more of a, I guess, a responsibility to just keep in shape and, and uh, it, it, was, it was really different to have like a year of basketball off. Uh, I've always played basketball every season, uh, during the summer, uh, during school, and it was just really different. Um, but it gave me a lot of time to focus on myself and, and just to focus on like what I needed to do um, the ne at next coming year. So, And you went back home to Texas? Right. What did, what did you end up doing? Were you in school? Were you just working out? Or what, what was your uh, year off? Well, I went to Texas State. and I, was like I was at the beginning on the practice squad and then I left uh, and it was different on that end because I had the option of playing basketball and then the option to just sit at home and focusing on studies and so it was just it was just really different um, but it was a challenging year but it was it was it was just different 
people hear about, uh, I, I think the NFL loves to talk about how, you know, this guy was bagging groceries one week and then he's playing quarterback <laughs> or this guy is sitting on his couch watching. And it's, it's kind of the same story for you. I mean, you're sitting at home in August uh, and then you get a call. What was it like and what did you guys talk about uh, before uh, coming back? Uh, well, I was texting, well, I was emailing a uh, coach and he thought I was a, a guard just wanting to walk on and try out and stuff. Uh, but he didn't know I went here uh, last year. Then John, I actually texted, I got his number because he played here a couple years ago. Um, and me and him started talking and then once I finally showed up to school he realized I was a post player and I was uh, I guess fundamentally sound on, on how I was on the basketball court and so he had to try out and he said he liked what uh, what I did and how I did it and so he said I was a blessing to come for the team with Carlos going down and stuff like that so I, I think it was God calling me to come back and I prayed about it and uh, I feel like this is a decision that my family, my family, and he wanted. So it's it's kind of a remarkable story. I mean, just to be just that quick, uh, and then be back on the court. And I mean, you're having a phenomenal season. You're shooting over fifty percent, uh, eleven points a game, uh, five and a half rebounds a game. How how much fun is it to to have that happen? To to step in and and just have the opportunity and then suddenly you're one of the top players on the team and having uh, such a huge impact. Uh, it's a blessing. Um, I, like I said, I've, I've had a rough year last year and everything is just, I'm just taking it all in and, li and living for the moment. Uh, season is going to be over pretty soon and so I know this is my last year to play collegiately. So. Um, I'm, just, I'm just really thankful. Uh, you know, win or lose, like not many people have this opportunity, and I'm just really blessed and thankful for it. We got a chance to chit chat a little over the uh, the Christmas break, and I know you're gonna try for a Masters. Uh, do you have a plan after uh, after this year when you graduate, or have you have you thought uh, too much about where you want to be or what you want to be doing? Uh, well, it was a little bit of both. I, I've been thinking about what I wanted to. I guess master and um, but I'm more of a live for the moment type of person and so I didn't know I was coming to to NU till like August so <laughs> yeah I don't I don't know uh, but I do want to go on masters and I feel like that's the right thing for me to do is for uh, me to stay here for a couple of years or somewhere in the Northwest but you have awesome food by the way thanks for thanks for that for, for uh, Oh, it's our pleasure. Uh, let's talk about this week. Uh, you guys get the win. You get back on to uh, good footing. You're rolling a little bit. And now you play St. Martin's, uh, a team that you're fighting in the standings in a, for the same position. Uh, how big is this game on Thursday night? Uh, it's really big. Uh, we took a few lumps at the beginning, and we, we know we have our backs against the wall pretty much. And so. We know we could play with anybody in the league. Uh, like I said, we beat a team that was three and one in conference. So the three wins were from uh, from teams that we haven't played yet. And I think I think uh, it's going to be challenging, but I think I think we're up to it. And Seattle Pacific Saturday night, uh, one of the top ranked teams in the country. Yet anybody, like you mentioned, can beat anybody in this conference. How excited are you guys to go in there on Saturday and maybe pull off an upset? Uh, really excited. Um, we thought we were having uh, Western Oregon on that night, but it just didn't end up the way we wanted it to. But I, I think, I think when we're on this roll, we're just gonna keep pushing, and we know what it takes to actually compete with the top uh, top teams in the league. And I think we'll get it done. Pretty good player, junior college, uh, averaging around wow, what, about nine points a game, six boards a game. You come up here. Uh, the first year you didn't get as much playing time. Now you're a starter. What is it? What is the difference, Ben? I mean, you've experienced all kinds of college ball, variety of coaches. It, it's got to be. Uh, you must have had a lot of different experiences. And which one do you like the most? Uh, definitely this year because I'm actually understanding like all the blessings, blessings I'm receiving now. Um, I know that I took things for granted, and I know. Uh, 
there's a lot of things that I did that were pretty immature, and so I didn't really take basketball seriously uh, when I was younger, and so I, I really enjoy this year. Um, I'd enjoy it a lot more to get a couple of wins on the road, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying this year. This is by far the best year I've had in basketball, and I'm enjoying the coaching staff, and I'm enjoying the players around me. Like. These are my friends. Uh, a lot of people say they're just teammates, you know, and we just we're just here to get a job done. But these, these are my friends, and I really respect the coaches and what they're doing, and I have faith in what they're doing, and we're fully committed as a team. The dynamic of the team seems a lot different than we've seen in the last few years. You guys, like you said, your friends. It seems like you really do appreciate each other, support each other, and work really well together, and, and that's fun to watch. Um, moments that you'll remember the most uh, on the court or off the court? What uh, What's the, the highlight so far for you? Uh, a couple of teammates, they're, they're just clowns. It's just so funny just being around them. Uh, Miss Dunks, they'll hear about in the, in the locker room and uh, we call one of the one of our teammates, JaVel McGee, because he has this whole highlight of just mistakes after mistakes, like just <laughs> he's a seven footer missing dunks and it's just, uh, it's just so funny. but. Um, we, we just have a good time like that. We know it's nothing personal against us uh, or against each other. So it's just real fun just to be around each other. And um, I think that's one of the things is a brotherhood that we've, we've formed um, on the court. So well, I appreciate your time. I know you got to practice here in a little bit. I want fans to remember Thursday night, guys are over in St. Martin's. You can watch them online Saturday at Seattle Pacific. And then come out here next Thursday night, it's Treasure Valley School Night. Cheer the guys on as they uh, look to uh, score a win against Western Washington. Thanks a lot, you all. Thank you. <laughs>